Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have the District Road Race Championships for you here. Four laps, about 100 miles on this rolling course with some crosswinds, um, which got a little bit stronger towards the end of the race. All the big teams are here because it's the district championship race. And no, it is not the state championship race. Despite what some SoCal teams like to believe, um, Southern California is its own racing district and then Northern California is a separate racing district. There's no such thing as a California state championship, even if you uh, buy a custom jersey. So now that we've cleared that up, let's get into this race footage. Okay, so we're two laps to go. We have about 50 miles under our belt. We're a little bit half, more than halfway through this race, and my teammate Miles is off the front. So that's Team Mike Spikes. There were, I think, five of us. Other big teams included Tayrun Elite, Team California, Volley Factory Racing, probably a couple of other teams that I'm not remembering right now. Some really strong individual riders that were uh, very threatening in today's race. But this group that Miles is off the front with did not include Team California. So... Right here on the, the back section of this course, straight headwind, which had picked up in the afternoon. They're doing all this chasing, and that allowed us on Team Mike's Bikes to sit in, chill. We don't have to do any of the pace setting. We're super happy with Miles being up in that breakaway. He is not only a strong breakaway rider, he's also a very strong finisher. So by the time that Miles and the breakaway get caught on the last lap, we're pretty fresh for the predictable counterattacks and hard riding that always happens on the tailwind side of this course. Um, it's rolling, it's a tailwind, it kind of turns into a crosswind, and it was it was tough. Uh, a big chunk of the peloton gets dropped through here at this point in the race, so I make sure to maintain good position. You see me right here up towards the front, surrounded by my teammates, and protected because at this point in the race, it's looking very likely that it's going to come down to a field sprint, and that's my job on Team Mike Spikes. So about a half a lap to go, I have survived the tail and the crosswind roller section, um, in this diminished peloton, you can see we're crossing the bridge now. Survive the bridge crossing one final time uh, without hitting a, one of these carbon-eating potholes or getting a pinch flat. I decided to, to have a pretty risky but high-performance setup um, on the uh, the SL7, of course, the team bike, but also had the, the 26 mil uh, turbo cottons on there with latex tubes going for the ultimate fast setup. And, um, yeah, didn't it didn't bite me in the end. Didn't end up getting any pitch, pinch flats. So at this point, really, as we make this right into the headwind, it's just a matter of positioning myself, saving as much energy as I possibly can for the sprint finish. So the boys are fresh. We're taking over the front with eight kilometers to go. Um, and this is uh, thanks in large part to the work that Miles had done earlier in the breakaway to allow us to sit in and rest. And I think that's him on the front again right now. Miles is such a stud. But um, eight kilometers to go doesn't seem like much. But in this headwind, you guys, you have to you have to realize that I'm not doing much power right now. But the, my teammates on the front who are keeping me um, out of harm's way up towards the front, protected, they're doing a ton of work. And we're just getting set up for the sprint finish now. So um, let's fast forward a bit and see how that, that plays out. Okay, so we're turning into the crosswind section here in a moment. That's the reason we've taken over on the front. You're going to see the speed really pick up. We were going low 20s. We're going to get up to the low 30s here real fast. And left to right crosswind, smashing left to right crosswind. See Chris in front of me like, uh, like a boss, checking back, making sure I'm still in position. I'm going to try not to go into this crack right here and get a flat with two kilometers to go. But still have a couple of teammates in front of me just to keep things fast, keep me into position. Now let's talk about the finish of this race because it is not totally straightforward. We are going to go up a hill. It's maybe like 5% for, I don't know, uh, the, the final kilometer, maybe the, the final 1,500 meters. So it is definitely a strong man finish. It is not your traditional 200 meters to go sort of sprint. Everyone's just going to start nuking it up that hill. And I want to make sure I'm up towards the front when that happens. We're pulling back Brian here. You guys remember him from Alviso. A uh, familiar face. He went sent a, sent a flyer um, with a couple of kilometers to go, maybe three kilometers to go. Finally got brought back. Chris, keep checking back at me. This is great. I'm telling Chris patience here. I want to make sure that I don't I don't get dropped off too early at the front. That would be really bad. Um, our plan was to get me to that final left hand corner. We're on a course, four laps on this loop. But if you can look at the map at the map on the bottom right in the very corner there, we actually make a final left hand hand turn, and we do the final like 300 meters. Um, on a, on a different part of the course, completely separate part of the course. I have not seen yet. This is my first time racing this course. That's going to be important in a little bit. We'll get to that in a moment. 
We're really picking up the pace now, 31 miles an hour. We're about to hit the bottom of this hill, approaching one kilometer to go. Now we have Miles taken over. That was Roman's final pull. He brought things up to over 30 miles an hour. Now we're ripping. And look at the battle that's taking place in my rear camera. Like, it is just going off in the rear camera. And um, actually, the front camera ends right there. We ran out of batteries. So now we only get rear camera so we can really check out the battle that is taking place. Sam is behind me. Um, Sam was going to act as sweeper. This is a tough finish going up a hill. Sam is like the pure field sprinter on the team. This is a really tough finish for anybody. Um, especially if you're just the pure sprinter type. So Sam's going to battle over here, show these SoCal boys what's up, and get back onto my wheel, try to just make, make sure that I have a clean set. Um, Sandy's on my left, on the right in this perspective, and he's, um, he's just been fighting this whole time. But the problem with him is he's been out in the wind on the wrong side of the road this whole time. So I can't believe he's been, he's been there this whole time on the, um, the wrong side of the road. What a, what a display of strength he's shown. But look at us now going up this hill at you know, six 700 watts. We're uh, 350 meters to go. The field is just in tatters now. People are starting to blow up, including Sam. Now, this is where Chris drops me off into the final corner, which was according to plan, but in hindsight was a terrible plan because 250 meters up a hill into a straight headwind is so far. All I can muster is about 1,000 watts. It's been so hard up until this point. I'm already at 179 beats per minute. Here comes Eddie Huntsman on my left, and I am desperate here. Legs are seizing. I cannot hold power anymore. This is about all I have. And here comes the bike throw, and I get beat by just a couple of inches by a legitimate UCI Pro. That softens the blow a little bit. But to be that close to the top step always stings a bit. Um, in brighter news, uh, Eddie is uh, out of this district, and he's also a UCI registered pro, so he is not eligible to win districts. So kind of as a, as a consolation prize, I get the district championship title uh, for next year. So um, awesome race. Congrats to Eddie. And next time, I think I'll pre-ride the course and make sure that, uh, you know, maybe I'm just too used to crits. This was not an instance where sprinting for the last corner was the right idea. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.